Hi everybody, welcome back to Wenatchee River Institute's Plant ID series. This week we're going to be looking at one type of fern that grows a lot in this area, and it's called bracken fern. Bracken fern has the widest native distribution of all ferns, and no fern grows faster or taller, and it can grow up to 16 feet tall in Washington state. And bracken fern like many different types of habitats. They like shady zones in the forest, they like really open zones with gravelly soil, and here I am in a shady forest covered by big leaf maple and Douglas fir. So ferns are really cool plants because many thousands and thousands of years ago they used to be just as tall as our current trees are. However now we'll find them much shorter. But their way of reproducing is still the same. So ferns do not produce seeds, they instead produce something called a spore which is similar to a pollen grain more than a seed. And the spores are created and released from tiny uh, cases on the bottom side of fern leaves called sori. So let's take a closer look at a bracken fern. So bracken fern come from one stem out of the ground and the stem grows nice and tall and at the top of the stem is where we see the leaves. So the stem that comes from the ground, all of the branches off of the stem, and all of the leaves coming off of the branches, this is all considered one leaf. And what we would maybe think of a leaf the green parts is called the fern frond. And on the bracken fern, the fern fronds grow alternating off of the stems. And the leaves on the fern frond grow directly across from one another. And the sori, the thing that's holding and producing the spores, grow on the bottom side of the bracken fern on the curved edges of the leaves of the fern frond. So here we're looking at the stem, we're going down the stem of a bracken fern and at the very bottom we can see the rhizome that this bracken fern grew out of. So bracken fern also have a vegetative style of reproduction where they sent out rhizomes, which are horizontal root-like structures, and uh, new bracken ferns grow up vertically from those rhizomes. One of the best ways to tell that you're looking at a bracken fern versus many of the other types of ferns in Washington State is that there's just that one stem coming out of the ground with the fern fronds coming off. Other ferns grow in clusters. So thanks for tuning in this week and we'll see you for the next episode.